Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to share something really interesting with you guys and it's involving this nice strong earth magnet and some non-magnetic uh, piping, which we have copper, aluminum, and brass. Now, before I actually get started, I'm just gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna drop this magnet right down this copper pipe and as you can see, it's taken an extremely long time for it to come out the other end. There we go. Now this, in scientific terms, supposedly it's called the lens effect. Now it has something to do with um, magnetic fields opposing each other as it's going down, even though this is not magnetic, but uh, going, uh, going down against uh, the copper tubing, it literally slows down or there's like a resist re restriction or resistance. So I'm not a scientist. I just think this is really cool. If you want to know exactly how this works, go Google it. It's, I think it's called, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, the lens effect or lenses effect. And um, it's very, it's interesting just reading upon it, but I mean, just like, I'm not gonna just bring it all back from memory, but either way, this is really cool. And I wanted to show you some different ways to do this if this seems very interesting for you to do at home. Now, as you can see, it's just really interesting. It's just awesome. You, I can do this all day is you just take a magnet and you put it down a copper pipe. And as you can see, it takes a very long time to come out. Now. If I take the same magnet, okay, and put it down, let's say this uh, next size uh, pipe, as you can see, it can take uh, a longer, a shorter amount of time for it to come out. But still, it slows it down pretty uh, remarkably. So if I actually drop it in front of you, you can see, oh, excuse me, you can see it actually falls down really quick. Now, it's really hard to measure exactly how the comparison, like how much time, how much lower is it so you know it's harder to measure that in a, such a small piece now I have a very long piece this is an eight foot aluminum um, pipe and we're gonna be putting it down and actually timing it and I'm also going to be showing you right after how it looks from the top uh, portion of the, you know from looking down inside the cylinder or inside the pipe is actually kind of floating through there now um, I also have this very big magnet and uh, very strong, by the way, very dangerous. If you have two of these, they actually can hurt, you can hurt yourself. So we're gonna drop this down here too. It slows down, but like I said, um, because this is a heavy magnet and this pipe is, uh, it's the kind of the right size cube magnet for it. The, the copper wall is uh, really thin. Now, in this case, when I'm using this copper pipe and this, where's our little magnet go? And this magnet, as you can see, this magnet, it fits in there just, let's see if you can see that. It fits in there really nice and it bobbles around more than enough room to go down without touching the walls. And uh, for the weight of it, we almost have the same amount of copper thickness. Now, the thicker you go in copper or brass or uh, aluminum, maybe I'm pretty sure it works the same thing with stainless steel, but I'm not sure because I don't have it with me. Um, the thicker you go, the slower the time is. Now, uh, let me show you, this is of course a longer pipe, but if I put this uh, ball down this, uh, this pipe, you can see how long it takes. Now, it seems like it's taking a little bit longer, but it is uh, also a longer pipe. Now, so I also experimented a little bit with um, a coil tube. It was just a, a copper tube and I wrapped it around. I wanted to see, is there going to be an effect? Is it going to do the same thing if I drop a magnet right down it? And it really doesn't seem to do anything. Um, and I'm assuming because it has these spaces. But either way, now, the next step what I did was really interesting, guys, is it is fun to see or to know that this ball magnet is actually going down really slow. And, and kind of like floating and some kind of a, you know, invisible restriction is not allowing it to go down. But I'm like, you know what? I want to see that. I want to see it. So I cut out a slot here. Now you can see this slot is about a quarter inch. This slot is about a one eighth of an inch. And uh, the more you take out, the, the less of a circular, you know, tubular tube that you have, maybe, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but with the magnetic field, maybe it disrupts it or something. I have no idea, but you can see that it does slow down. I mean, it speeds up the thicker it goes. So let's say if I drop it here, uh, well, first, as you can see, we have two of these. So almost the same length though. You can see, let's see, 
one Mississippi two, Mississippi three, Mississippi four, Mississippi five, Mississippi six, Mississippi seven, seven Mississippis, okay? Now if I put it down this one with the open slot, one Mississippi two, Mississippi three, Mississippi four, Mississippi five, five Mississippis, and it's actually about an inch longer. Now that's probably because I cut a slot, you know, cut a, a, a slot into it, and it's not a perfect dam, a perfect uh, pipe, okay? So now, if we're looking at this pipe, we have uh, one eighth and then a half an inch. Uh, yeah, about a half an inch. So no, quarter inch, about a quarter inch. So if we drop this magnet, magnet now, if you look closely, you'll see it drop, and then it'll speed up when it comes down to this bigger opening. All right, so if you really didn't catch that, there is a slight difference. Now, I also use, uh, so before I go to the one that are, that are cut open, I also use the aluminum pipe. As you can see, it's really, it's a lot thicker, but it is bigger, so the magnet is a little uh, smaller. Let's see if this one would work. Nope. So yeah, even in this case, It seems like it's working really well, even though this is a lot bigger uh, hole than the, than the magnet itself. So the closer the magnet can get to the walls, it seems like it does a better job. Now, if you cut a big slot in here, which I did, I have two different sizes, you can see it's very interesting to watch this just fall slowly. It's really interesting, you can just watch it. I don't know if you can see this, but over and over again. Now, if you actually angle it, it takes even longer amount of time. It just kind of rolls slowly, slowly on it. So I also have a, a bigger gap and it does speed up a little faster. Maybe not noticeable for you guys, but it's actually really interesting to see it actually kind of floating down slowly. Okay, before we do the test and exactly how long, how much, how much slower it is to go down the aluminum pipe or a copper, but in this case I have an eight foot aluminum pipe versus uh, just dropping before we do that test. Uh, I wanna show you the comparison. So we have uh, this pipe, the, the small pipe right here. And let's say I drop it down. We'll time it really quick, but I'm gonna show you this pipe. As you can see, I think this was around seven seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pipe because I don't have a solid piece of uh, brass that's really, really thick, the outer wall. I'm actually gonna start putting them inside each other. So I'll put it inside this one. Can I put it inside this one? No, oh, that's not it. So let's put it inside this aluminum pipe. And then this aluminum pipe we'll put inside another, just a nice pipe that's a little bigger. And then we'll put it inside a pipe that's a little bigger. And then we'll even put it inside another pipe. Now what we're gonna do is time this. All right, this is actually really interesting because, so we're gonna know exactly, uh, where is the timer? Timer, stopwatch, reset. So, let's time exactly how long, when this drops to the ground, you'll hear a little thump. There you go. So, we're gonna time it. Okay. And ready, set, go. Okay, six seconds. I probably pressed it just a little after when it hit, so about right at the end of, let's say 5.5 seconds, about six seconds. So we're gonna reset that. We're gonna slide this pipe back in here, okay? So as you can see, we have uh, copper, aluminum, copper, copper, copper. Now, they're not tight together. It would be, a, a, a pretty sure it would be a lot better if it was, but it's not. Okay, now we're gonna put it down. And so that, oh. So now we're gonna drop it in, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, six pipes. 
Three, six. One, two, three, four, five different pipes. Now, if it was a thicker piece, I really think it's going to go slower. So let's try this. Six seconds against this. Ten seconds. Almost twice as long to go down this pipe, these five pipes, and they're not even like really tight together. Now, if we had a pipe this thick with a diameter of this, uh, what is this, half inch, it would probably be really slow. So can you imagine the more copper or the more metal that you have for it to work its magic or magnetic feel, um, that's where it's actually really cool. So, like I said, these are really fun to play with. They almost work the same way. Um, all these different metals, I really, I think it all comes down to the thickness of the metal, okay? And as we proved it right now, with more copper or more non-magnetic uh, material around it, it's easier for the magnetic field or something to happen. Now, we're gonna see how much slower is it. Now, these are not exact um, times because I'm just using a phone stopwatch and uh, we're not, this is not like perfectly, but it's gonna give you a reference. Okay, so we're gonna put a little cushion on the bottom. So here we have our eight foot piece. It's around my nose height. We're gonna put this aside and we are gonna time, time it from hitting the ground by the time it hits the ground. Now this is very, since it's gonna hit the ground fast, it's very not accurate, but let's just see if I can get it. 0.61 seconds, so 0.61. Let me try that again just to confirm. 0.71 seconds. So I'm getting, so I got 0.61 and 0.71. Where'd the magnet go? <laughs> Sneaky magnet. All right, so. We have 0.61 and 0.71. So let's just say it's a third of a second. Two thirds, three, two thirds. Oh my goodness. 0.71, it's a three quarters of a second. What am I talking about? All right, so now we're gonna put this right here and we're gonna time it. Okay, now, ready, set. And go. Guys, as I'm talking to you, it's a long pipe, five seconds, it's six seconds. It's still not out. Um, I tested this before and it's just so amazing. It should be coming out any. Oh, there we go. 17.5 seconds. Guys, <laughs> this is not a joke. 17.5, and you were talking about uh, three quarters of a second. And this is 17.5 seconds. Um, so if that, if, it, if this is a little magnet took about one second to drop from here, that means this would be 17.5 times slower. Now, um, since it's 0.75, you can do the math yourself. Maybe it's like, I don't know, what is it like? 19 times uh, slower, somewhere around there. Um, let me do that one more time because uh, you guys don't believe me it's just really amazing i can do this all day uh i'm gonna put it down let's see ready three two one all right it's, it's down and as you can see it's just counting <laughs> it's not falling through you can hear it kind of touching the walls once in a while sounds like a chime 17.61 all right, guys, now I'm going to just show you how this actually looks um, coming down this little pipe. Maybe you can see this, maybe you won't, but it's actually still interesting. As you can see, it's just hovering until it falls out. Look at that once again. I'm going to make sure you can see the bottom. Now, in real person, in real life, uh, this looks a lot more interesting. 
but let's try some other pipes. Let's try the aluminum pipe for you guys. All right. Wow, you see that? It's almost like giving a little swirl effect and it's just falling right through. This is actually really interesting to see. Now it touched this time. It really depends how you hold the pipe. Like the first time it didn't even touch the walls. Look at that, beautiful. Well guys, with this little quick test that we did, this is about 19 times slower since it's about three quarters of a second for it to hit the ground with the magnet uh, by itself and then 17 point something seconds inside the pipe with the same uh, height. And uh, so it's around 19, maybe even 20 times slower. So this is actually very interesting, very fun uh, thing to play with at your home. If you guys are interested, you could totally do this yourselves. All you have to do is go to a hardware store, get a you know a copper pipe, cut it into a size that you'd like. The longer pipe you have, the slow, the longer it's going to take to come through it. Now, the thicker diameter you can get, the better because the slower is going to seem. Now, if you can cut out a slot like this yourselves, it's actually a lot more fun to see the magnet slowly gliding down. But uh, if you guys are not interested in going to get uh, get this you know piece of copper yourself from the hardware store, cut it into cut it into a smaller size because a um, a 10 foot piece that they sell in Home Depot, I think it's like 30 bucks. The bigger the bigger copper you have, go with a lot more expensive. I know if you go with, I think this diameter, it's somewhere around 50 bucks for a 12 foot or a 10 footer. So if you guys are not willing to go do that, I am gonna be providing a kit later on. Um, if you guys are interested in this kit, you know, leave a comment down below that you're interested. I'd wanna see how many people are interested in it. Maybe I'll get it out sooner. But what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be uh, selling Two different kits probably on definitely on ebay maybe even on amazon i'm going to be selling two different kits one of them with a cutout slot and one of them just with a regular copper pipe as a kit with a magnet for the specific uh, diameter and uh maybe if i find like a cheaper version of a copper pipe that's really thick diameter to really slow it down i'll probably have that available too so if you guys are not willing or uh, willing to go to home depot and or a hardware store and get all this stuff yourself um you're more than welcome to purchase one. I should have these available in the near future, but either way, leave a comment if you are interested in one. Uh, this way I can kind of get an idea if I should start on this a little sooner, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe because it definitely helps the channel and you'll get to see a lot of other great videos. So see you guys next time.